Sportswire video. The Cedartown Bulldogs travel to Calhoun for a Thursday night thriller against a perennial Northwest Georgia powerhouse over the past two decades and came away with a bittersweet end with their first loss of the season. The loss did provide some highlights from a Bulldog squad who never gave up in the rescheduled game that was supposed to be played weeks ago. Tune in for highlights from this trip to Gordon County after a word from this Polk Sports Wire video sponsor. This Polk Sports Wire highlight reel is brought to you by Croker's Hardware of Cedartown, your local source for all your needs for autumn projects around your house and yard. Stop by and visit your hometown source of brands you trust like Benjamin Moore Paints, Steel Lawn Care Equipment, and more. Kroger's Hardware is located at 1192 Rockmart Highway, Cedartown. Check out their ads on polksportswire.com and polktoday.com to learn more about Kroger's Hardware or call ahead for an order at 770-748-4842. Thanks to Kroger's Hardware for sponsoring free local sports at polksportswire.com. Okay, let's get rolling with some top plays from this big Thursday night matchup. Starting off with a Calhoun play, quarterback Christian Lewis makes a pass right down the center of the field to Cam Curtis, who held on to the ball, but after making the catch and getting pulled down by Cedartown's Taji Neal, had to roll backwards before coming back up for the big play. Second quarter closing in on halftime and Jackets ball, they pull off a trick play for a touchdown to Cole Spear, who comes up with a grab all by himself for six, heading into the locker room up 17-7. Back to the squad that matters, check out this power run by CJ Washington for extra yards as he makes it past midfield and picks up a big bulldog first down third quarter calhoun ball deep in their own backfield and reese tanner was just outgunned on defense on this play losing a foot race to the end zone for a big second half touchdown play to put the jackets up 24 7 that was quinn smith picking up the 35 yard grab out of the air and 65 yards on the run after the catch Check out this big kickoff return from Cedartown's Camarion Davis as he breaks several tackles and makes it up the sideline to put the Bulldogs into good field position in the third quarter. Second half, and check out this big interception picked up by Eli Barrow to give Cedartown the opportunity on offense again. Calhoun's Caden Williams took the handoff and Lewis baited the defense faking the pass because Williams made it out of the scrum and took off downfield for a touchdown. Jackets would seal the game with this one in the fourth quarter. Reese Tanner really took a licking but kept on ticking on Thursday. Check out this big downfield run for the QB for a first down. Bulldogs Jai Barnes is really making a huge difference for the Bulldogs this season on defense. Check out this stop he made against Williams before he could pick up any more yards on the play. Another big kickoff return for Camarion Davis on this one as he makes his way upfield and hits a swarm of jackets, but he refuses to go down and some words are exchanged between the two squads after the whistle was blown dead. Both teams were fired up for this game. One more special teams big play on the night. Cedartown punted off during the second quarter to Calhoun after coming up empty handed on a drive, but got new life when Calhoun's return man, looks like Quinn Smith's number in the clip, muffed the catch and gave the Bulldogs the opportunity to grab the ball back with better field position. A big defensive stop here for Cedartown's Jordan Johnson on the pass into the end zone, and a flag thrown after the play was not against him. Calhoun's Clay Stevenson didn't like the lack of the pass interference call. Stevenson gave the officials an earful after the flag was thrown against the Jackets. Penalties would play a big role in this contest, as you'll see here in just a moment. Back to Reese Tanner for this one, and man, I hope everyone involved in this hit is okay. Tanner takes the ball in, a scramble looking for a first down, and more after coverage busts up his pass play. And and as he's coming in, Peyton Waugh for Calhoun leads in with his helmet in the collision. A clear targeting play. Fans around the back of the end zone question the tackle, but slowing it down, you can clearly see the flag stands, and it wasn't a clean hit. Okay, last play of the highlight reel, and back to Reese Tanner for the Bulldogs' only score of the game. After taking the ball downfield and picking up big yards and almost scoring on the previous play, they call his number again, and he pushes past the Calhoun defense to tie the game in the first half. It would be the only score for the Bulldogs in their first loss of the season. Calhoun ended their night with fireworks with the 31-7 win and moves up to 4-1 on the season. And Cedartown with the loss moves to 3-1 heading into Region 7-4A play when they are back on the road to Jasper against Pickens County this coming Friday, October 1st. Tune in Monday for more details about that game. I'm Kevin the Editor and thanks for tuning into this Polk Sports Wire video. Check out free local sports content at polksportswire.com. Help the channel grow by giving this video a like. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified notified when new videos are added to the channel. Find ways to support Polk Sports Wire in the description along with links to our Facebook and Twitter.